Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're going to review the Carbon DST from Telos Snowboards. This board is available in four sizes, 150, 154, 158, and 162. This board features Telos's hybrid POW camber, which is a very mellow traditional camber into an elongated, more aggressive rocker in the tip and the tail. Basically, it's cam rocker. I rode this board at Arapaho Basin in the early spring. It was sunny bluebird. The snow was a little creamy because it was just like a little sun baked and warm. And you know, there was mild wind. The groomers were perfect. You could still find some kind of slightly fresh snow off the runs. And I rode this board with my K2 Thraxxus boots and my K2 Indy bindings. This board has that typical middle of the road flex to it. So what you get is softer tip and tail, stiffer section through the inserts with a moderate amount of torsional flex. You know, it's pretty damn predictable of a ride. And when it comes to stability, and when it comes to stability, you pretty much feel everything with this board. There's some flap in the tips, and because of the way this board's built, that resonates back underfoot. You stomp a drop, you're gonna feel it. You just pretty much feel everything with it. It's not a damp ride, it's very lively, but then again, it's also super light weight. I mean, this thing, there's nothing to this thing. It's so light. This board has a great pop to it. That camber section is very mellow. It's easy to engage and it actuates the rocker, which gives you more spring so you can really pop with it. It's one of those boards that you don't really load it up, but it's got a lot of rebound and snap. A lot of that is due in part to the carbon construction. Yeah, I didn't even really try to butter with this thing. You can, I just didn't. If you've seen my review of the regular DST, then you know that this board can carve. It's aggressive. It's one of those boards that due to the construction, the lightweight nature, there's a lot of energy in this and it puts that energy into the edges. So when you really engage just from toe to heel on this board and you drive into it, you're putting so much energy into the board that it wants to rip those carbs. It wants to slingshot out of them. It's a board for just pushing it to the limit as best you can when you're on edge, just driving it hard, just pushing turns, short, tight, quick ones, long, hard, drawn out ones. It's got you covered either way. So who is this board for? It's definitely for someone that's in search of the lightest carving board that they can find. This right here is a, the gasket that comes with this that you put underneath your bindings so that they don't leave an imprint on the top sheet due to the carbon nature of this board. That's right, they mill the core thinner, they put more carbon in it. You can really leave a harsh imprint on the top sheet of the board if you don't use one of these. Um, yeah. The Carbon DST is not the board for me. I'm a regular DST guy. It's a little more damp of a ride, which is what I like. The Carbon wasn't enough of an upgrade for me to just be like, oh, this thing's fucking amazing. I want one of these. I understand that there are people that want a lighter weight board and they want that Carbon response. Go for it. For everyone else, I think the regular DST will probably fit the bill. Comparable boards. The Jones Carbon flagship. The Rome Blur the K2 Simple Pleasures. This has been my review of the Telos Carbon DST. Do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the content we've got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you'd really like to support us and you want to see us grow out our snowboard network and what we're trying to do over here, swing over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I can tell you more here, but I've got a video over there. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.